and welcome to your gold market event charts of the day for the 27th of July 2023. Mike Smith, senior analyst, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Major indices are up again in the US with Dow having its 13th day of straight gains and Russell 2000 performing well also. The Nasdaq was slightly weaker as expected following some earnings but we had the Fed rate rise of a quarter of a percent which the market seemed to expect anyway so it was uh, rather muted subsequent to the press conference by Jerome Powell. Earnings are likely to dominate headlines again this week. Meta beat expectations on their report after the bell and hence we're seeing the Nasdaq futures responding positively to that. US futures generally higher after a bit of a tepid start earlier in the day but now all pointing to the upside. Likewise with Asian markets generally the ASX is performing well up 0.8 percent. European futures were pointing to a soft open early but over the last hour or so have moved into positive territory. The VIX may remains historically low. The US dollar index was softer overnight after that Fed decision and their somewhat dovish outlook compared to previous statements. Gold has edged higher to test 1980. Copper has breached the 200 EMA and is eyeing 395 resistance. And oil is holding $80 level on the WTI CFD contract. Bitcoin is still below 30,000 but has paused around the 29,000 level. And earnings continue with over 600 of the NYSE companies due to give their reports, including McDonald's, Ford, Valero, Harley-Davidson and Tal Education. The ECB rate decision is out this afternoon and of course US weekly jobs and preliminary GDP are all later. A couple of charts that caught our interest today. And we're looking at the US yen, you can see here on the hour chart we've tested this S1 pivot level at 139.71 twice over the last two hours. We think a close beneath that may see it down around about 50 pips. So one to keep an eye on over the course of the session. There just appears to be USD weakness coming in again. Uh, if we look at the ASX, AGL again is an outperform. It poured slightly around this $12 level after another surge higher. But you can see there we've breached that 1220 level. We're now sitting at 1229. If we put this on a weekly chart, you can see how important that breach was by putting that line there around about 20 around about 12 16 possible upside now to around about 13 dollars 50. trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now